Hi boys, Mr. Ken here. Thought I'd read to you one of my favorite stories called Mother Bruce. It's about a fellow whose life kind of changes in unexpected ways and he's got to deal with those new changes. So let's get into it and see how he does. All right, let's see, he's out in the forest there. All right, look at where he lives. Mother Bruce, looks like he's maybe gonna have a little breakfast. So let's see what it's all about. It says, Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. He was a grump. He looks pretty grumpy, right? He did not like sunny days. He did not like rain. He did not like cute little animals. No, oh, look at that little bunny. He's not pleased. Bruce only liked one thing, eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. There he is, sticking his head in the tree. Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. But Bruce didn't eat eggs the way raw like other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. There he is, right? Using his, using his computer. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled goose eggs dribbled, drizzled with honey salmon sauce. Mm-hmm. So he went out to get the ingredients. First, he caught a few salmon. Then he collected honey from a local beehive. He liked to support local businesses. You see, just like we do. Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. He says, are these eggs free range organic? At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling. He's got himself a pot of water and he's just waiting for it to boil. But the fire in his stove fizzled. So he went out to get more wood. And when Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. Mama! Oh my goodness. Bruce became the victim of mistaken identity. Those chicky, those little goose chicks are calling for their mama. They think he's their mama. Bruce wanted hard boiled eggs, not goslings. He supposed he could settle for buttered goslings on toast, but for some reason, he lost his appetite. They are pretty cute. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to the nest. I will have to ask Mrs. Goose about her return policy. Only to find Mrs. Goose had flown south early. Her little note says, be back in the spring. Bruce left the goslings there anyway and went back home. But he was followed. Mama, mama, mama. Bruce was very stern and said things like, go away and I am not your mother, and I liked it better when you were eggs. That, group, that Bruce really is a grump. Roar. Bruce could not take it any longer and became extra grumpy with them. Oh, he's angry. The geese don't know what to do. But it didn't work. Goslings always follow their mother, even if she is a he and he is a bear. There they go. Following him. Following him. What's Bruce gonna do? Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it. He got him a little, little pool. How nice. It was hard work. Oh, look, they made a big mess. He's got him in the carrier. He's trying to get them to eat, and they say, blech, ew, and yuck. As the seasons passed, Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older, from annoying baby geese, to stubborn teenage geese, to boring adult geese. Then one fall afternoon, he saw other geese families flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of those geese and he could take a long winter's nap. Let's see how he's gonna get him to join him. Bruce explained migration. 
flapping his arms. But they didn't listen. Bruce needed the geese to leave, so he got creative. Look at that, he built a catapult to fire the geese into the air. Nothing worked. The geese would not leave Bruce. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take his geese into town. They boarded a bus. They're at the bus station. And migrated to Miami. Right? They went their own way. Now every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They laze about on the beach in tacky shirts. They sip ice cold lemonade while Bruce dreams of new recipes. Recipes that don't hatch. Oh. Mama? Look, the baby turtle thinks one of the geese is his mama. Uh oh. And that's the end. Right? Wasn't that a great story? Right? Bruce wasn't expecting what happened, but in the end, there was a happy ending because he adjusted to the changes in his life. Right? And that's what we all have to do. Things change and we adjust. And we get through it, just like today. Have a great day, guys. See you soon. Mr. Ken out.